This is no gimmick. It really is zero recoil. Literally zero. And I mean that 100%. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Team Red, the YT? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, give me a like and comment below, and watch this whole video as it helps my channel grow. Stick around, let me show you why this loadout is the one that slept on and is literally the best one for multiplayer and DMZ. So stick around so I can show you how to set the gun up and prove to you that it's zero recoil. First, we're going to run the Tundra Pro Barrel. Yes, it's a little bit slower, but it's going to give you the damage range, bullet velocity, and hip fire accuracy. Next, we're going to run the Commando Foregrip because the Commando Foregrip provides better horizontal recoil control than the FTAC Ripper or any other grip. And I've tested this, and I will show you in this video exactly why Commando Foregrip is the best grip. It's much easier to control vertical recoil as you just pull down as it is to control horizontal recoil which is going left to right trying to control horizontal recoil while you're controlling vertical recoil is very difficult and this eliminates pretty much all of the horizontal recoil so you have no recoil in this gun whatsoever next we're going to run the komodo heavy the reason why is because it's more horizontal recoil control and when we tune it, I'll show you what else it does. So stick around. I'm going to show you the tuning, and it's much more in-depth. Next, we're going to run the FSS Combat Grip More Recoil Control. And after that, we're going to run the Tactic Brute Stock More Aiming Stability and Recoil Control. First, let's start out with the Tundra Barrel. Recoil steadiness is needed because it's going to stabilize the recoil spread. It's very much needed on this gun, as well as damage range maxed out. So let's go ahead and tune the commando foregrip we're going to do recoil stabilization very important as it's going to provide a lot of horizontal and vertical recoil control next we max out aiming idle stability so you don't have a lot of gun bob and sway while you're adsing the komodo heavy is a very good attachment it's the best muzzle because it gives you horizontal recoil control recoil stabilization and gun kick control. This is a crazy amount of recoil control, as you guys can see. You're losing a little bit of accuracy, but it's not really gonna hurt you. Trust me on this one. Now that we're coming across to the grip, you can see, yes, it's going to give you recoil control, but you're gonna lose aiming stability. Not so much. We're gonna set it to recoil steadiness as well as sprint to fire speed because we've already got aiming idle stability on another attachment. You could set this to ADS speed all the way as I'm gonna show you the difference of running it like that 
as it's not a huge difference, but it could increase your ADS speed while not really affecting your recoil. With the brute stock, we're gonna go in here and set it to aim down sight speed because we don't care about aim walking steadiness. We need a little bit of ADS speed and get some of that back. Next, we get more aiming idle stability back. So overall, we've gained back the aiming stability from this grip over to the stock. And we've also got aiming idle stability from our underbarrel. So the Commando 4 grip is rectifying it and the stock is rectifying it. So it's a very steady and stable gun with no recoil. Let's go ahead and do a fire pattern on this gun. And then I'll show you that fire pattern, how it changes when we go more ADS speed. Let's go to the firing range first. Look at the ADS speed. Very quick for an AR with max range, okay? Very quick. Let's go ahead and exit here. And we're gonna go ahead and set this to aim down sight speed and we're going to see if it's any faster and it's noticeably faster not a lot but it's definitely noticeable let's go ahead and look at the door and we're just going to see the recoil pattern as it is there is your recoil pattern right there we'll do it one more time nearly identical both times we come across to the grip and we do recoil steadiness instead of ADS speed. We go back to the firing range. Turn around, come back here, and we'll do the exact same thing again. So you can see recoil steadiness definitely tightened the spread. It's not as high vertically. And it's a little bit more straight. Not much, but a little bit more. We'll do it one more time to make sure that we've got the right thing going on here. See, it's very similar. It's a much tighter spread, but is it worth the ADS speed? Well, that's kind of up to you. If we take off the Komodo Heavy and we run your typical suppressor like the Harbinger D20, which I love, run at max recoil smoothness and bullet velocity, watch the difference in the recoil pattern. Look at the difference between the silencer and the Komodo Heavy. Granted, the Komodo Heavy goes up a little bit more, but look how more straight it's just going up. This comes all the way over. So the horizontal recoil, clear as day, look at the horizontal recoil. When I fire this gun, and then I go ahead and I put on the Komodo Heavy, A lot less recoil control. Like, look at this. Watch me shoot that target in the distance. There's literally no recoil. None. Zero. I'm dead serious when I say this. Literally zero recoil. And I can keep firing on the same spot. Look, look how it tracks. It's like a laser beam. And when you mount on a surface... It's literally a laser beam. Let's look at the difference. Those are all different patterns with the Commando Foregrip. We're going to do one right here. This is with the Commando Foregrip. Now let's go ahead and run the FTAC Ripper, which is what a lot of people love to run. Recoil stabilization, aim idle stability. Let's try it again. You guys will see the difference side by side. See how the Commando Foregrip this kind of comes up and goes over, 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 and it just continues to go over. Whereas the commando foregrip comes up, it goes over a little and keeps going back to vertical. So you don't have to continually pull down to your left. It's only for a split second. We'll run the pineapple grip on this one and let's show you the difference between that. The pineapple grip actually seems like it's giving more vertical recoil control and horizontal. After doing these tests, you can clearly see the pineapple grip is, for whatever reason, slightly better than the Commando 4 grip. Every attachment works differently on every gun. If you want less recoil, the pineapple grip provides more control.
The ammo is gonna come behind you. Securing objective Charlie. Bro, if you spawn. Uh -huh. Radar though, because I have a Komodo Heavy. Level up this bullshit in the shotgun. Oh, crazy. No. One top, one top. In the window, in the window. 